May I bring your attention to figure 6C. What we're looking at here is a reference to tumor size. In mice, they were treated with immunotherapy and creatine, of all things, monohydrate. Now, this is quite intriguing because the finding that creatine is kind of required to power uh, many different functions in regards to the immune system itself. But in this case, let's look here. Now, I want to read you two separate excerpts. One is from the full published HTML or abstract more geared towards the research community. Uh, the other is from the general press release. But let's start first with the technical version because it really, really deserves to be read both ways to proceed as follows. In fact, most four of five experimental mice receiving the combination therapy completely eradicated their tumor burden and remained tumor free for greater than three months. When receiving a second challenge of MC38 tumor cells, all these cancer survivors were protected from tumor recurrence and stayed tumor free for another six months. Recall this part for the next paragraph I'm about to read. The duration of the experiment was six months, henceforth figure 6C. Now to the general press release as follows. Four out of five mice that received this combination therapy were found to have completely eradicated their colon cancer tumors and remained tumor free for over three months. Furthermore, when they were given a second round of tumor cells, all these cancer survivor mice were protected from tumor recurrence and remained tumor free for an additional six months, as quoted before, the duration of the study. The reason I find that kind of intriguing, because remember a few weeks ago in regard to pancreatic cancer, when basically they took the cancer survivors and basically transferred the CD8 T cells to other ones, uh, then exposed them to the same cancer, they had a resistance to it. That's just amazing. But without further ado, let us go to the next part. Creatine powers, oh, before I proceed into the, the public release, I wanna show you this one chart here in regard to creatine and melanoma. You notice the, basically the difference there, pretty fascinating. And also too, uh, if you wanna pause it, this is another graph or chart, I should say the researchers uh, compiled into how creatine basically may be playing a role in regard to these particular studies as a whole. But now let's get into public release to proceed as follows. Creatine powers T cells fight against cancer. The study conducted in mice and published in the Journal of Experimental Medicine is the first to show that creatine uptake is critical to the anti-tumor activities of CD8 T cells. Again, reverting back to the pancreatic cancer study, it's just intriguing. Also known as killer T cells, the foot soldiers of the immune system. The researchers found that creatine supplementation can improve the efficacy of the existing immunotherapies as we led into the study with. The findings of the paper stem from the researchers, uh, the research into metabolic needs of tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. Immune cells are traveling to tumors to fight cancer. Examining these cells, the team observed that killer T cells taken from inside of tumors possess a large number of creatine transporter molecules, which sit on the cell surfaces and control creatine uptake into the cells. To quote the researcher, as biologists, we were always asking why. We could see that these tumors battling T cells had increased their capacity to take in creatine, likely for a good reason, so we designed the experiments to determine what happens when they can't get it. Now the outcomes you saw, and of course I'll have links to the full study so you can delve into it a little deeper on your own. What I am gonna do here is go more towards the methods and methodology, so you could see, pause it as you uh, glance through it, uh, but I also put two parts up there. One is uh, basically the study design in regard to how much creatine they added to the chow. Keep that in mind. Also to how much they may have injected, like I think it was every four days. But also you'll see the approximate intake daily of the creatine monohydrate that the animals did consume. So look at both carefully. Try not to confuse the one with the three uh, grams per kilogram, otherwise that can be interesting. But, pause it. Now, I am gonna move towards the conclusion because what is stated in the conclusion really kind of branches into the origins of possible much greater uh, myriad 
of, uh, I should say, research that can be delved into creatine monohydrate itself. Once a villain, uh, a few decades ago, now appearing to be a superhero. But to proceed as follows. The energy buffering function of creatine certainly goes beyond regulating CDAT cells in CRTKO mice. Quoting the researchers, we observed that the hyporesponsiveness of multiple immune cells in various mouse tumor models it is also likely that creatine regulates immune reactions to multiple diseases beyond cancer, such as infections and autoimmune diseases. Studying the roles of creatine in modulating various immune cells under different health and disease conditions will be interesting topics for future research. Just fascinating altogether. What I'm gonna do here is I'll have the links on the YouTube channel to the full published study I'm glad they actually published the full study. Often, sometimes all you have is the abstract to work with. This has everything there, so you can go right into it and just basically chew away it on, on your own. But again, I hope you find this information of use. Hope this information makes a huge difference, a beneficial difference in people's lives in the future. In any case, thank you very much for listening. I know many of you also ask whether we have a newsletter or not. Unfortunately, we do not. The only uh, outreach that we have is this channel. So please subscribe. We do this every seven days. If you like or don't subscribe, just check in every once in a while. As always, I hope you find this information of great benefit. Thank you very much for listening and look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. We're all signing off. Thanks later on. Bye.